Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Rebecca Campbell writes that Cape Town's Atlantis Special Economic Zone is aiming to become a green industry heartland. This month, we'll see the green tech-focused Atlantis Special Economic Zone, or ASEZ, mark two milestones, namely the breaking of ground for the first new factory to be built there, and the start of refurbishment of the site's one pre-existing factory, which is owned by the ASEZ company. The engineering news features focus on air, gas, fumes and dust control, where a dual-stage jet enables enhanced and faster degasification. Industrial and commercial lighting, where a firm integrates technological advancements into fittings. And security, where a law firm reports that entities will be required to report cybercrime within 72 hours. The Mining Weekly features focus on hydraulics, pneumatics and hydropower, where coating technology protects critical equipment. This week's business leader is Jacques van Tonder, the Executive Director and COO of Vedanta Zinc International. And as this week's cartoon shows, there are indications that the Presidency and the National Treasury would like the next phase of Operation Wulundlela to move beyond a focus on binding constraints to growth. However, it's not clear how this will be pursued. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.